Hi, this is Dave of Brutally Honest Gamer, and uh, coming off the heels of my review of Drift King 97, we got Nissan GT Overdrive in R, uh, which is the Japanese version of the Need for Speed uh, with all Nissan cars. Again, I'll remind you, in order to play import games, you will need an action replay, something similar, or just a Japanese Saturn. So let's start this up. Alright, so this game was released in 96. Um, the Japanese version, like I said, it's all Nissan cars. And for an older game, it's not that bad at all. I'll show you some, uh, some footage as well as I want to just show you some of the options. Here you got a nice little full motion video that showcases some of the cars. Uh, but I want to get into the game here. There's a lot of loading screens, I'm going to warn you up front. Alright, so the game, this is the title, and as you can see, everything is in English. I, when I bought this game, this was a, actually a flea market find for me. I already had the U.S. version of the Need for Speed. I didn't even realize this was the Need for Speed. It wasn't until I saw this screen here that I'm like, wait a minute, this looks very familiar. And uh, once I started playing the game and saw that pretty much everything was identical to the U.S. version of the Need for Speed, uh, I knew what I had. All right, so again, everything's in English even all your options so the game is very importable I haven't found any Japanese uh, at all all right so we're just gonna go one player I'm gonna do a single race here because there is a specific race I want to show you uh, the tracks start at the, the city simulation and then they you have the north track mountain track desert track, another mountain track, and an ocean track. Uh, so you have, it's like a little mixture of, you have a couple of, of, of actual races where you have laps, three of them, and then you have three that are like street races. So I'm actually going to do the city one here. Uh, the cars are all Nissan. Uh, my favorite is the 300. I love the 300s even today. I, they're one of my favorite cars. Uh, the 180SX, uh, which looks a lot, I believe, like the 240SX here in the States. Uh, I don't know what that car is. The Sylvia. This rust bucket here. I mean, I guess they had to put something in there, but really, Nissan didn't have anything better to put in a game. It looks like a Buick. Uh, this is a pretty neat car, uh, the old Skyline 1973. It looks like a 70s muscle car, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, the 240s and um, in the, in the old 300Zs, I love these cars too. The Dachshunds, as we knew them here. Uh, another Skyline, another Skyline, and back to the Fair Lady for the 300Z. So I'm going to pick this car, and I'm going to race against all of them. And then we got more loading. Sometimes you'll even get two loading screens. But at least you have a nice picture to look at. Unless you pick that old piece of shit. Yep, there it is, okay. Alright, the first thing you start in neutral. Uh, one thing I didn't realize, you have to shift out of neutral. So the right trigger will shift. Now, your default view is the cockpit. And look how nice that is. This is definitely one thing that uh, Drift King 97 um, failed at. It did not have a cockpit view. Instead, it had this view. And then you have the zoom out. So there's at least three views on this. Uh, the B button will break. And so you can see, whoa. All right, 
The car models and the graphics I'm not really too impressed with, but I understand the game was out in 1996. Uh, the main thing I wanted to show you on this track is look at all the room on the side of the cars. When you get into a pack of cars, it's going to be hard because they will perfectly, the computer AI is pretty smart. Um, they know when you're behind them and they will get in your way. Uh, so one thing it looks like is you have plenty of room to actually go off the road a little bit uh, to pass people. Well, you don't. See? Look at all that room and an invisible wall that actually takes you down completely. Drains all your speed. Same way here. Invisible wall. There's at least a good two and a half feet or three feet of extra road that could be used to, to pass people, but the game won't let you do it. Uh, this is the only track that I've played that has this limitation where you can't hit the guardrail. You hit air and bounce off of it. Um, the other tracks, you can slam up against the guardrail. Uh, this track, it's pretty boring. It's the same background repeated over and over again with a tunnel mixed here and there and it is 90% straight. So there's not a whole lot to it. Even the curves are pretty gradual. You don't have to break at all. And here I'm coming up against the, the pack. All right, this shit should fly now. Ooh. All right, let's see. Uh, the controllers are pretty tight, um, they're good, uh, so I can't complain about that. There we go. Alright, here, now we're weaving, and there's that invisible wall. Plenty of room to pass on the outside, you can't do it. Now you have no rear view mirror either. The Z button removes everything, the Y button honks, the X button changes the view. So there's no... They know you're there, but you don't know they're there. And this is a surprise. I did not do anything. And the game decided it was done. Okay. I guess that was the end. Well, that was a short track. Oh, now I don't know what I did. Um... Most of the tracks, especially like this track, the desert track, are pretty uninspired. Uh, they're bland. The, the, the overall track design is pretty bland. The car models, like I said, I'm not too impressed with them. Oh. The music will change from race to race. <clears throat> it's just, every race is just obnoxious. Either, I don't know, I don't even want to call it rock music because it's god awful. And there's some where it's just so atrocious, I can't believe it. It's like, I don't know why people, when they created these games, thought that racing games should have this, like, 80s heavy metal hair. I... Quick, damn it. Everything loads. All right, one player again. And... This. Now, if you check, you can pick your opponent. Or you can pick them all. I want to erase this. Yeah, this piece of garbage. And we're loading again, which I can understand because it's a whole new track, but still. Load to the main menu, load to the track, load to quit, back to the main menu, load, load, load. Gotta love the CD, old CD based systems. Alright, shift out of neutral, don't forget. And here's your crappy rock music accompanying you. 
Look at these slow ass pieces of shit. Well, that was almost too easy. Uh, one thing, if you notice, the uh, the draw rate on this game is pretty good. You, uh, the view distance is a lot better than Drift King 97, uh, but in my opinion, uh, the graphics are just more detailed in Drift King 97, which is probably the reason for that. But, as you can see, there's no other traffic on the road. Once you pass them, that's it. So yeah, let's drive in a straight line. That's a lot of fun. Wee! Unbelievable. Oh, there we go. Now we throw in some curves there, and of course I can't handle it. Now I'm just bad at racing games. This game does control well, so I, I don't believe in using the brake in video games, so I just had hit everything with the uh, pedal to the metal. Oh, the music. I believe this game might be more fun if I had somebody that was at least as good as me to play with that could keep up. Oh no, they're catching up. As you can see, especially the city, the city one is the worst. It can get very boring. Alright, I'm done. I can't play it anymore. Overall, it's not a bad game. Uh, the graphics are not good, but it, what can I say? It's an old, it's an old Saturn game. Uh, I don't expect them to be PlayStation 2 quality graphics. I expect them to be Saturn, but even for the Saturn, they're pretty ugly. Um, <clears throat> the, the 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 tracks are they're generic. Uh, the backgrounds are they're not that bad, as you can see. Uh, except for like the desert track which is uh, a circular track that's it all looks the same uh, the city again it all looks the same but they threw in some tunnels here and there uh, so overall I mean for an early racing game I guess it's good uh, it, this game could have been a lot better it's no Drift King 97 uh, the game is completely in English so if you were to import this game you'd have no problems whatsoever playing it at all uh, but if you have to choose between a racing game, there's there's better games than this out out there. Uh, Drift King '97, in my opinion, is much much more enjoyable than uh, than this game. So thanks for watching.